What's up, guys? This is Webby, and this is your UFC 204 review. I am very sorry that it did not get uploaded last night. I was a little bit under the weather, and that's why it's not getting uploaded until today. However, the show must go on. I am feeling 100% better now. And last night was a night of huge, epic proportions when we got to see if this thing was able to overcome his loss to Henderson the first time they stepped into the octagon together. And if we remember, the first time they did, Henderson knocked out this thing cold. I mean, just knocked him out dead cold. I mean, just brutally. It was brutal. Absolute brutality. I mean, last night when they were showing a replay of Bisping getting knocked out the first time they stepped into the octagon, it was just brutal. So, could Bisping overcome this epic knockout that Henderson gave him, we all found out last night. Which I'll get to in just a second. But what really impressed me about UFC 204 was all the fights that led up to the main event really got me interested and got me pumped up for the main event. Bektik versus Donan. First rounder, but Bektik ended up picking up the victory by submission with a rear naked choke. Now, some people might say, oh, it was a first rounder. Yes, you know, first some, round, first, some first rounders kind of get on people's nerves sometimes because, you know, it makes people think, well, it's a waste of money. Well, we don't always get what we want. Yeah, I mean, we just don't, you know, um, but this is UFC fighting, so it makes a difference, you know, that's why we don't always get what we want, you know, they're shorter sometimes. However, brutality, brutality, that's all I can say. Rear naked chokes, that's all I can say. Stroom versus Om. Omelic Zook. Once again, by a choke. This absolutely knocked down drag out affair. I really enjoyed it. Really picked up the momentum, picked up the pace of UFC 204. Really kept on the fights and really kept on the momentum. Leading through the event. Manua defeated Purewix by KO in the second round. This is when the fights really started heating up. Because we had two knockouts. You know, two second round knockouts. Bam, bam, right back to back. So, really, just absolute brutality in this one. And when Belford got knocked out, which I was really kind of upset when Belford got kind of knocked out because, honestly, I was hoping that Captain Schizo would win. And I'm just calling him that because when they were showing the uh, video package of uh, Belford, he, uh, he kind of looked like Captain Schizo running around all over the place and how fast he was moving, and how quick he was throwing his legs around, smacking people upside the face. It really showed a lot, and it really showed uh, what he was capable of. And he just really looked, you know, like a, a, a freak. So I was really hoping he would pick up the victory, and he didn't. He lost TKO. There was one incident... And one time, it was at the very end of the first round, where he got an absolute 
jab right to the face and fell flat. And honestly, he wouldn't even made it to the second round, I don't think, if the bell hadn't rang. So, Belford lost too. And all these second round TKOs really got us ready for the main event, which was Bisping versus Henderson. This, a fight of epic proportions. Could he overcome it? As we know, the last time they were in, they didn't even show the clip of it, where Bisping got jabbed in the face, he fell flat out, and then Henderson came and he waffled this being right to the face after he was already knocked out. Could this being overcome it? This being is still the champion. He won by decision. This is kind of I don't know, it's hard to decide really who would have won last night and who should have won last night. Depends on who really you're asking. Because some people would have said, Oh, well, well Henderson should have won. No, Bisping should have won. Really, I think Bisping went and sets up for number three. And I say that because... Yeah, Henderson won the first one. Bisping wins this one. It only makes sense for them to have a third. There's money there. And number two, Bisping, if you go back and you look at that fight, Bisping overall completely dominated with strikes. There was one time where they even hooked, looked, uh, showed where the strikes was. This being had a hundred something strikes to Henderson sixty something. Now, on the flip side, on the flip side, Henderson had a bunch of knockdowns. Henderson knocked down this being on numerous occasions, numerous occasions. So. It's kind of a toss-up on who should have won this. However, Bisping did end up picking up the victory. And he is still the champion. Which I kind of thought would have happened if it would have went the decision. And it was a good fight. And I'm glad that it went the to decision. Um, I'm glad that it wasn't just a knockout, real quick knockout. I don't really like when main events uh, at UFC end like that. I think, to me, those make it where it's kind of like a waste of money, honestly. Which is why sometimes I like watching them at Buffalo Wild Wings, honestly. But it was a good UFC 204. I don't have any complaints with this pay-per-view. I like that Bisping won. Because I think this, if they want to, and if they want to push it, if they want, could set up for Bisping versus Henderson 3. I think they could do that if they wanted to. Because it would make more sense now, since it's 1-1. One and one. And overall, this was a good pay-per-view. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch me later tonight for my No Mercy review. I will have a special guest, so tune in for that. And until I see you then, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.